ever get curious about those professional development programs, the ones that make big promises. You yeah. see the testimonials, the success stories. It all sounds amazing, but then... Reality sets in. Exactly. You start thinking, okay, how much time will this really take? Will it actually fit into my already crazy schedule? It's a valid concern, especially for professionals who are already juggling a lot. So today we're doing a deep dive into a program that's generating a lot of buzz lately. And thankfully, we've got our hands on their curriculum breakdown. Always a good sign. Transparency is key when it comes to these programs. Absolutely. So let's dig into this document and see what we can uncover. First things first, six months seems to be the sweet spot for completing the program. Yeah, six months is the suggested time frame. But you know what really stands out to me? The flexibility. Oh, tell me more about that. They offer a completion window of anywhere from four and a half to 12 months, which is pretty generous. That's quite a range. It is. And it tells me they understand that life happens. People have careers, families, commitments outside of this program. Mm. It suggests they're prioritizing a deep understanding of the material over just racing to the finish line. Exactly. They want you to really absorb the information, not just cram it in and forget it a week later. Which, let's be honest, is how a lot of these programs go. But I have to say, even just looking at this breakdown, they seem to be emphasizing the practical application of everything, which I appreciate. Oh, absolutely. They're not just throwing a bunch of theory at you and calling it a day. Right. So they recommend setting aside about 20 minutes a day for learning, which honestly doesn't seem too daunting. 20 minutes, that's like, what, one less episode of your favorite show? It's doable. Definitely doable. And they break it down even further. They talk about synchronous versus asynchronous learning. Now, for those who aren't familiar with these terms... I just clarify. MP Synchronous means real-time, live interaction. Think of their live mentoring sessions, which mm -hmm. they offer four times a month. And then there's asynchronous learning. Which is more of a learn-at-your-own-pace kind of thing. Exactly. Like reviewing case studies or, in their case, these book critiques they have you do. It's a good mix. Catering to different learning styles and schedules. Some people thrive in that live environment. Others need the flexibility to learn on their own time. This program seems to cater to both. Now let's talk about something that really caught my eye. This whole practical application aspect. Yeah, they're big on that. It's not just about absorbing information. It's about actually putting it into practice. They have role-playing exercises, peer coaching sessions. They even have something called triads, which I'll admit I've never heard of before. Triads are interesting. Yeah. Essentially, it's like a peer review process, but instead of one-on-one, -on -one, you're in a group of three. It allows for more diverse perspectives, different approaches. And probably some really valuable feedback. Oh, for sure. They're big on feedback in this program, which is crucial for growth. Speaking of growth, they also seem to be emphasizing reflection throughout the curriculum. Huge emphasis on reflection. There's the reflective journal, where you document your experiences. And then there's post-practice analysis, where you really dissect your performance. And those aren't just little add-ons either. They're clearly integrated into the whole learning experience. It's like they're saying, look, we can teach you all the techniques in the world, but if you don't know how to reflect on your own progress... You're not going to improve as effectively. Exactly. And that's something I really appreciate about this program. At least from what we're seeing in this curriculum breakdown, they're not just focused on the what, they're focused on the how. The how is crucial. It's the difference between simply learning something and truly mastering it. So for our listeners out there, I think this deep dive has brought up some really important points to consider. As you explore different professional development options, don't just look at the content or the time commitment. Think about how the program approaches learning itself. Does it emphasize reflection, feedback, practical application? These elements, they often get overlooked, but they can make a world of difference. Because ultimately, it's not just about what you learn, it's about how you learn it and how yeah. you can apply that learning to your own unique career journey. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> and that's a wrap on this deep dive.